I started abusing drugs and alcohol when I was around 17, 18 years old. Uh, I started by smoking marijuana every day. And that was my drug of choice at the time. It was really the only drug I did. I didn't even drink alcohol, really. I was actually quite against it for the longest time. Um, so yeah, I was just a marijuana smoker from pretty much 18 and on. Well, to stop smoking weed, actually that was my longest addiction of all addictions I've ever had, marijuana. And that's one of those ones that's kind of sneaky. Uh, you need to be careful, I think, with marijuana. A lot of people need to be careful because you don't feel like you're addicted to anything. Um, and that's where it gets you because you are. It changes the way you think, the way you feel, the way you conduct your entire existence. Although subtly, it changes things. So for me, I didn't stop smoking weed until I was really 27, 27 years old. Smoked it about nine years. I think I smoked weed because it allowed me to think in a different way. It made things a little bit more interesting in life. And other than that, it's hard to tell what I was covering or suppressing, but I do know what I was reaching for, which was mental stimulation. Addiction. When I stopped smoking weed, it was a long, long transition into a normal state of mind to get to the point where I don't want to even think about I don't even think about smoking weed anymore. I even want to look at it. I don't even want to smell it, really. Um, to get to that point, it took, I would say, years. Um, but at least a year of just staying away from it. And the first when I first tried to stop, I did have a few relapses of it. But um, at this point, I've been away from it from over, for over a year now. Weed is a popular drug because it's subtle. It's mild, can be strong, but typically it's mild and easy to access. And a lot of people claim that it's no harm, you know? Let's get high, man, you know? Uh, but I don't agree. I actually think it's real bad for you and um, can really steer you in the different direction without you really noticing. You know, I almost prefer harder drugs because you can at least see how crazy you're getting. With weed, you just kind of go there and you're like floating around and you don't really even know where you're getting at. But let me tell you, your friends and family do know. They can notice that. I started doing more intense drugs uh, when I started using Adderall, I would say, or Vyvanse. And once I started using no, no, I take that back. I started with psychedelics. Mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. And cactus. And then slowly went into trying new things like LSD, and then it went to Vyvanse, and then it went to all the time stimulants, and then it went to whatever I could get my hands on later on after a serious car accident. <gasps> But, or not even, but just, yeah, just in general, I was willing to try anything that I could get my hands on. Um, so I think it was just a slow development from uh, a curiosity, sort of. The curiosity was, what will this do to me? I think a lot of this started from, yeah, just my... Ordinary life not being like enough, I guess. There was nothing that interesting happening in ordinary life in my mind. I would describe it as having a veil over my perception of the world as a gray and white and black video. Everything dimmed down and kind of dull. Whereas I could see maybe other people might have had a more colorful vision of things. And so to me, things were kind of boring or just too stable. I think now I 
am sort of just, it's more of an understanding that this is the best way it can be. I don't really have cravings anymore because it's like slow, like slowly, I think people will realize that yes, there are slight cravings still, but it gets to the point where the cravings almost go away, but they're still there, but they almost go away in that like, but not the craving itself goes away, but the, the understanding that why would I put myself through that sort of completely destroys the craving. Like, just the understanding of things are okay how they are and better how they are right now um, completely just overpowers the craving of it. So then the craving becomes minuscule after a while. Let's wrap that one up. Have a great day. Thank you and for listening, and I hope you can uh, um, find some use in this video. And feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.